right, let's go. Welcome back to the Housing Hangout, where we talk about anything and absolutely everything that's real estate and lending related. My name is Mark with Be Realty Texas, I'm joined by my man, Sam Gabay, Merit Lending at Las Vegas, Nevada. Guys, today's episode is called California Chaos. We're going to be trying to help you guys navigate the political uh, circus over there on the west side. So as always, grab yourselves a cocktail, a coffee. We really don't care. Uh, Kick back, relax, hopefully learn a thing or two, and uh, make yourselves at home. So Sam, this is pretty annoying, man, what we're going to talk about, which is Assembly Bill 1840 out of California. Let's just get into these videos. Yeah, I mean, it is California, but it's like the theme is kind of bleeding all over the country. Uh, let's show you guys what's going on. State bill yeah. could allow undocumented immigrants to purchase a home. It's legislation in Sacramento receiving national attention, a first-in-the-nation effort to allow undocumented immigrants state money for the purchase of a home. For those who qualify under the California Dream for All program, the state would pay the 20% down payment for a first-time home buyer. So they're talking about... Dude, what the... F- right. So this bill started out as a bill, uh, like a down payment assistance bill. It wasn't really assistance. It was a grant for California residents. Uh, and now California's decided to change it. Not only have they changed it, they've increased the amount to like an incredible number. Um, so now they've decided that it doesn't matter whether you're legal or illegal. They want to give you $150,000, up to $150,000, 20% or up to $150,000 per person to buy a home, which is an Dude. astronomical, crazy number. Um, I know we're both homeowners. I don't recall anybody giving me 150 grand to buy my house. Dude, nobody gave me shit, Sam. Right. That's that's what's so annoying about this. Look, right. here's some stats for you guys. In 2023, California ran a $46 billion deficit, right? There's over a 1 million Californians that live in poverty today. And there's over 180,000 people that are homeless. And yet the audacity to be giving immigrants, people that some of them aren't even supposed to be here, you know, because it it is illegal immigrants that are uh, are also benefiting from this. They're not even supposed to be here and they're getting federal taxpayer dollars. That's where I think that's where I kind of draw the line. Well, well, I'll take it one step further. I mean, you and I both lived in California. And when I lived in California, I mean, sure, it was a little seedy, but it it was still a beautiful place. But when I go to L.A. now, I mean, there's tent housing all the way up the freeway for miles and miles. I mean, I took my kids to Universal Studio, and there's literally a tent anywhere you could think of. There's a homeless tent. So I'll take it a step further and say... Not only should they not be giving illegal migrants $150,000, they shouldn't be giving anybody anything because they can't afford it, and they have to clean up their backyard before they start doling out money they don't have. If you didn't earn it, and you didn't save it, and you didn't work for it, what on God's green earth makes anyone think that you're going to appreciate and you're going to be able to afford a home? It's not just buying a home. Everyone out there knows. Guys. And you could drop this in the comment. Please back me up. It's not just the purchase of a home. It's also maintaining that house, right? When things break, you got to have money. You got to have a job to be able to fix it. When when uh, the utility bill comes up once a month, you got to be able to pay it. You know, you got to be able to maintain your lawn. So it's not just buying the house. So so, so a couple of points. I mean, it's fiscally irresponsible for the state based on the state that the state is in. It's fiscally irresponsible, number one. But it's also uh, could lead into like a 2008 financial crisis because now we're giving down payments to people who may not necessarily, I mean, they haven't earned it. So they weren't able to earn that money on their own. So now we're maybe forcing loans through that shouldn't be going through. So so you might be putting like the real estate market in jeopardy. Not only not only that, these programs never work, you know, never. They never work, yeah. and it's not the first. This is the first time I've heard of $150,000 for illegals. That's the first time I've heard that. But it's not the first grant program out there. This has happened before. And every time these programs come out, they last like three hours. There's a list. People get the money. The program runs out of money, and it's done. So a lot of this is gaslighting by politicians, okay? Um, no doubt. Because they just don't have the money to sustain it. Now, 
This bill passed the House and the Senate, didn't it, Mark? So this passed both chambers. This went all the way up to Gavin Newsom's desk. Right. So that was it. It went all the way to the very, very end. Before I give you guys the update on what Gavin Newsom did, I want to make myself very, very, very clear. I'm all for legal Im immigration. My parents came here legally. Okay, Sam, you were Canadian. You, you're obviously here. Uh, I'm a legal legally. immigrant. My wife is a legal immigrant from Colombia. Yeah, my mother-in-law. Uh, my mother-in-law was from uh, Bangkok, Thailand. She came here legally. This this country is an absolute <laughs> melting pot of legal immigrants, and for that reason, I think it's one of the reasons that makes this country great. Having said that, Cal uh, California Governor Gavin, uh, Gavin Newsom actually vetoed the $150,000 down payment handout to illegal immigrants. Which is hilarious because he's such a front man for this kind of stuff. But when it comes down to brass tacks, I mean, this is a guy that actually understands the budgets, even though he plays totally to the left. He just couldn't do it. He was like, we don't have the money for this. He, he, he couldn't do it. <laughs> right. You know, he said, given the finite funding available for California Housing Finance Agency programs, expanding program eligibility must be carefully considered within the broader context of the annual state budget to ensure we manage our resources effectively. He went on to say, and I quote, in a memo to California lawmakers, for this reason, I am unable to sign this bill. Okay, okay but California. now he's actually going to call their bluff, okay? Because in California, they have what's called a super majority. So what that means is if two-thirds of the state Senate decide to override the veto, they can pass the bill without the governor's approval. And they have enough members in the California Democratic Party to do that. So so but now California's not out of the woods. So they're not out of the woods, but let's see now big shot Senate members who voted for this uh, you know, gaslighting bill to look like superstars. Now the ball's back in your court. The governor said no. Are you going to override your governor? Do you really want this to happen? Or are you just full of crap and wanted to make a statement? Now we're going to find out. Now, this has also bled into the presidential election, okay? Um, and it's a little bit different of a program, but um, let's hear what Kamala Harris has to say. We also right, know go. that as the price of housing has gone up, the size of down payments have gone up as well. Even if aspiring homeowners save for years, it often still is not enough. So in addition, while we work on the housing shortage, my administration will provide first-time home buyers with $25,000 to help with the down payment on a new home. This is also, again, nothing new, okay? There are a lot of programs out there right now where you can get grants for first-time buyers to cover your down payment been around for a long long time now there's programs Sam, you and i you and i help people do it every day i mean we i've did i did one this month okay now there's some programs where it's a grant and you never have to worry about it there's other programs where it's a second mortgage that you don't have to make a payment on and it's just silent there's some that go away after a certain period of time generally speaking like i just said before the grants there are just free money those are usually put out by government agencies or government programs those last like a day they come out and they're gone. Psh, flash, bye. The money runs out instantly. But the kicker about what Kamala is saying is she's been vice president for the last three years. Cosign three, three and a half was the last uh, signing member of the Inflation Reduction Act, which was a big part of the reason we have inflation and seven and eight percent interest rates, which is a big part of the reason that real estate is so hard to achieve right now because a four hundred thousand dollar home used to cost you two grand a month and now costs you on an FHA loan like thirty five to thirty eight hundred dollars a month after taxes and insurance. So mortgage yeah. payments as a result of inflation have doubled, right? But yeah. now she's gonna give you twenty five grand, which again isn't gonna last. This is again just another like flash in the pan move to buy that home for double the price that it was before she was vice president. I agree. I think right. my biggest problem is when they're giving out taxpayer dollars 
to people that aren't even citizens of the United States of America. Right. I mean, she hasn't I, necessarily gone there yet. Maybe she has. I no, haven't heard it. I know it. Kamala didn't. But, right. but, you know, we're talking about AB 1840 we opened up the show with. Right. You know, like that really got under my skin, man. And this yeah. is and I'm from an immigrant family, right. you know, where I saw my parents and my grandparents and everyone struggle so, so much. To try to to try to achieve the American dream of of obtaining a home. And look, this is the housing hangout. So the interest of this show is to talk about housing. What what I want to see for housing is I want interest rates to go down, and Same. I want home price home mortgage prices to become more affordable. Okay. And when I hear programs like this that are just massive amounts of government spending, it doesn't give me any confidence that they're actually going to tackle the inflation problem, which leads me to believe that rates are going to struggle. Right. So you can give me 25 grand, you can give me 50 grand. I don't care because if my interest rate is 8%, I'm still paying four grand a month for a house that should cost me two. And I think this is just not going to help our current situation of inflation right now. This isn't, this isn't how you, you, you get this to go down right. with printing more right. money and giving let, more money out. Let the private and, sector and, take care of it. They've figured it out so far. Down payment assistance, guys, is available right now. Okay, and there's ones that you don't have to make monthly payments on. And Available we're happy right to now. Help you guys get it. We're happy, we're happy to, to help you. It. You don't need the federal government to do it for you. It's already been happening for years. Now there is one person, Mark, who's not happy about this. Let's hear what Who? he's got to say. How about that plan in California, where Governor Gavin Newsom wants to give illegal aliens $150,000 to buy a house? If you're not an illegal alien, you don't get the money. And they're seriously considering it, but they want to give illegal immigrants, people that came in illegally, $150,000 to buy a house. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, now he did say you have to be illegal to get the money. I don't think that's what the bill says. I think it's for residents and illegals. I think it's for both. Look, Trump's a businessman. He's looking at government spending. He's saying, you're going to give them $150,000. That's crazy, right? Uh, he understands... He's in real estate, so he he knows that these programs already exist. He's so, a real estate man. He's a businessman, right? And uh, so I'm I not playing political favorites in the presidential race. Uh, this show is about housing, but as far as housing goes, all right, um, I like the plan of get the government out of our business and uh, let the private sector handle it. And you guys over there at the federal government, you guys just work on not spending money and keeping inflation down so that we can get back to 4% interest rates and people can afford homes. That's all you have to do. Get down the interest rates and people will buy because the mortgage payments will be two grand instead of four. That's all you have to do. You don't yeah. have to give us money. Just get the mortgage rates down and people will buy. All right, so we went on a little bit of a rant today, but Mark and I really care about the conditions of the housing market. We explained to you how government involvement in the housing market is not always the best thing for the community, not always the best thing for inflation and mortgage rates, we showed you different perspectives from the right and the left. Now it's up to you to make your own decision. That's it for me, Mark. What do you got to say? I feel like everyone should have should live the American dream here in this country. Uh, home ownership is the cornerstone of every single community, but you have to earn it. That's all I got, Sam. That's it, housing hooligans. We're out. Peace. Peace.